Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, ang gagawin naman natin ay tuturuan ko kayo kung paano mag-plot ng points sa isang Cartesian coordinate system. Again, ang gagawin natin is mag-plot ng points given itong mga coordinates na meron tayo. So, try natin. But before that, kailangan mo natin mag-review. Tandaan na, kapag kayo nag-draw ng isang Cartesian plane sa inyo notebook, tandaan nyo na uh, you need to draw the x and the y axis first. And then, pag nag-label kayo ng numbers, papakita ko lang po sa inyo. You have to do this. Ito ay yung 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Ito naman sa left side, you have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. And this is your... Negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, and so on. And kaya niya pang extend yan. So ngayon, since meron tayong mga, na mga points dito, tandaan natin na when it comes to plotting of points, it is important for us na maalala natin that the coordinates of a Cartesian plane is represented by x, y. So dito, sa ating list of coordinates, yung mga numbers sa left side, these are the x coordinate. At ito naman, is yung tinatawag natin y coordinates. So paano, ano yung gagawin natin para Ano nga yung gagawin natin or paano yung process on how to plot points in a Cartesian coordinate system? So basically, mag-focus mo tayo sa number 1. The given point or the given co coordinates are 5 and 4. As you can see, yung 5 natin, that is your x-coordinate. So titingin ka ngayon sa ating x-axis. Dito tayo titingin sa x-axis natin. Kung nasan ba si 5? But, ito yung tamang process. Mag-start muna kayo sa origin. Tama? And then, since that is positive, tandaan na positive 5 yan, mag-move ka ngayon ng 5 units to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this is your first one. Tama? Tandaan nyo na. Yan yung una. And then, after dito, After nyan, di ba nandito na sa 5? Punta ka ngayon dito sa y coordinate. Dito sa y coordinate, which is 4. Mula dito sa 5, mag-move ka naman pataas ng 5 units. 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is the location wherein you need to plot 5 comma 4. So, ilagay natin dito, 5 comma 4. Lagyan natin label. Mabuti nang mayroong label para malinaw. So, again, paano natin nakuha yung ating um, location na 5 comma 4? From the origin, mag-move tayo ng 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Because sa ating x-axis, papunta sa right side. Tapos, since yung 4 natin sa y, coordinate ay positive. So, you need to move 4 units upward. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's it. Ganyan na kasimple yung item number 1. Now, let's move on with item number 2. Your x is 6. Okay? So, that is positive. Mula sa origin. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then, kung mapansin nyo, your y is negative. Yung negative y natin ay nandito sa baba. Meaning, you need to move 5 units downward. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ito na ngayon yung again, 
5. Ito na ngayon yung exact location ng ating coordinates na 6 and negative 5. I hope na doon pa lang nakukuha nyo na yung pattern on how to plot points in a Cartesian coordinate system. This is your 6, negative 5. Let's go with number 3. Yung number 3 natin, we have negative 1 and 3. So, mula ka dito sana sa origin. Nasa origin, negative 1 meaning kung mag-move ka sa x-axis, if the number is negative, ang movement mo ay papunta sa left side. So, mula sa origin, mag-move ka ng 1. 1 unit. Okay? And stop ka dyan. And then look at your y coordinate. 3. 3 yan, di ba? So, as you can see, that is positive. Meaning, you need to move 3 units upward. Mula rito, ha? 1, 2, 3. This is the location of item number 3. Your negative 1, comma, 3. Okay? Sir, so how about number 4? You have 0, comma, 2. 0, comma, 2 starts origin. And then, as you can see, that is 0. So you're not gonna move. It's you're not gonna move left or right within the x-axis kasi zero naman siya. Again, kapag zero yung x-coordinate nyo, hindi ka mag-move ng left or right kasi nga, zero siya. So, mag-stay ka lang sa origin. Origin. And then, yung iyong y-coordinate ay 2. Since that is positive, mag-move ka ngayon ng 1, 2. Again, 1, 2. Ibig sabihin, dito yung location ng 0,2 within the y-axis. Okay? Next, let's move on to item number 5. You have negative 3 and 0. So dito naman sa case na to, kung napansin nyo, yung y yung 0, di ba? Later on, papakita natin sa inyo kung paano gawin. So you have here negative 3 as your x-coordinate. Start ka sa, zero, sa origin and then So, y, sa x-axis, ang ating negative ay nasa kaliwa. Meaning, ang movement mo ay left. Apunta sa left. 1, 2, and 3. Okay? And then, sir, do we need to move upward or downward after that? Hindi na po. Why? Because the value of your y-coordinate is 0. Hindi ka mag-move upward or downward. Meaning, ito na mismo yung location ng iyong negative 3 comma 0. So that's it for today on how to do or how to graph or on how to plot points in a Cartesian coordinate system. I hope na sa simple tutorial natin ay natutunan nyo ito at sana may share nyo ito sa inyong mga friends na mga nahihirapan on how to plot the points in a Cartesian coordinate system. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye. Hi, guys. You can also like and follow our Facebook page, which is named as Math Teacher Gone. We're uploading this for our followers on Facebook. So, I hope na ma-follow nyo rin at makita o kaya ma-visit ang ating page. So, right now, uh, we have we have 14,000 followers and likers of this page. And I hope na makasama namin kayo sa page na to. God bless.